everyone. I just want to say thank you for treating me so well. This is my first time in Texas, and I love each and every single one of you guys. Hey, I'm Ashton. I spoke earlier. I'm from Berkeley. We're working together. <laughs> we wanted to say we are the Millennial Conservative Generation. What a lot of people don't understand is that people like me and Haley, we are the future. We are voting every single day. These kids from Florida right now, they're about to turn 18, which means they can vote. I mean, granted, they want 16 voters, which is not going to happen ever, ever have that happened. <laughs> so, and what we're, what we're trying to say today is we need more millennial conservatives to start standing up and quit being afraid. Because now is the time to stand up for your rights. Before they try, before they take them away. Yeah. The reality is, guys, is that our future of our country right now is in the hands of people like me and Haley. But what also sucks is that the millennial generation, they're spoiled, they're lazy, and they don't seem to care about this country and everything that's been fought for it. The reality is, is that we need to start inspiring our children. When I mean children, I mean people who are like 21 in their parents' basement. <laughs> The thing is, I escaped that mindset. I'm from Berkeley. If it weren't for my grandfather who taught me the importance of fighting for what you believe in, for fighting for freedom of speech, for fighting our Second Amendment, I would not be standing on this podium today. In fact, I'd probably be in a sorority house somewhere crying that Bernie's not president. <laughs> and we have feminists today, feminazis today, that are trying to control and take over. I have a feminist in my family. And they, and there is a big story behind it. They, there is a feminist in my family that was playing with the law, and they were go here. I got, I'm messing up. Wait, hold on. You can. Hold on. I got this. I have a story for you. Okay, I have a, I have a feminist with, uh, within my family. She's a family member. She thought she was so much better than anyone else. She, she was set on the prison system, dug herself into the prison, prison business. She worked to give prisoners rights that they should have never had. Being a feminist and using uh, discrimination all the time landed her in some serious trouble. A prison riot broke out. They took her as a hostage. And how do you, how do you think that went? She did, she did make it out alive. And when she, when she was asked, how do you feel about prisoners now? She looked over and said with an <laughs> enraged face, kill them all. The moral of the story is they, these women that use their gender to get their way in life. And it's morally, it's mostly millennials today. It's millennial women today. And, oh, sorry. I want to say back to what she just said about women as well. It's not just women. It is the black communities. It is the Mexican immigrants. The same people they are using, you know, ironically enough, most of those Antifa kids are white. The reality <laughs> is they are trying to use these groups against us. They are putting us in smaller boxes, making us feel weaker, making us easier to control. And millennials are one of those boxes. The only difference with millennials is that they are your voters. They are the future. And if you want to keep this country intact, with every right on the Bill of Rights, teach your children. And this is what we're fighting for today, is for the future of our children when they grow up. Y'all think I want to be making videos on YouTube? I should be married and pregnant by now. We want a traditional household. And I'm going to say this because I say it all the time. Women, it's time to get back into the kitchen where you belong. God bless. God bless America. Thank you.